plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. One play. going on everybody how are y'all doing what's up everybody coming into the video clicking on the video thanks give this video a thumbs up I almost said stream give the video a thumbs up thumbs up let's get this over 300 likes let's do it right now like the video we have some dope 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 nintendo switch news a couple of dope news items but the first one is going to be big for the switch in 2021 i think 2021 will be the switch's biggest year even bigger than the epic 2017 year zelda breath of the wild mario odyssey splatoon 2 all launched in one year but we could have our first big system seller as if the switch needs a system seller we're going to talk about those switch sales in japan in a second later on in the video but according to a report from central pokemon which is a reputable leaker to Pokemon remakes will be coming in 2021. In fact, I saw a tweet where um, someone said that they could definitely confirm that it's happening, that it is happening in 2021. Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl are currently in development for the Switch with a planned launch for 2021. 2021 now this is also what's interesting about this leak central pokemon is saying that these games will not follow in the style of pokemon go um pokemon go eve and pikachu and so that art style was a little controversial personally i liked it i thought it was cool i didn't think it was bad but and not going to be in that art style. They're saying to expect something more along the likes of Sword and Shield. Something similar to, more similar to Sword and Shield. But, I have to say this. Personally, I wouldn't mind the old, the old school top-down perspective. Like when you're walking around. But, in the art style of something like Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening is one of the best looking games on the Switch. And so, all new Pokemon games coming, coming, coming soon, soon, soon. And wait, there's more. According to the same leak, we should be getting a Pokemon Focus Direct in February. All right? said that the reveal the um nintendo plans on revealing this game in february next month so hold on to your hats it's going to be lit can't wait can't wait to see what um nintendo what else nintendo has in store for uh, the switch so pokemon um, diamond and pearl um, I'm not I'm not like a hardcore Pokemon fan. I just beat not just beat, but I beat Sword and Shield when it launched. And I like the game. I like the game, bro. Um I, I beat a couple of the Pokemon games in the 3DS and the DS. But um can't wait, can't wait for this remake. Um should be lit, should be lit. It's going to be a huge system seller for the Switch. And that is a segue into my next um, news item. Speaking of system sellers for the Switch, the Switch really don't need no system sellers. Bro, this is coming from Famitsu. The latest Famitsu chart is saying 
that for the week of January 4th to January 10th, just in Japan, the Switch sold 167,596 units. That is a lot. For post-Christmas, sales are supposed to slow down, bro. January is typically a slow, slow month for video game sales. But bro, in Japan alone, the Switch was pushing almost 200,000 units in one week. Oh my goodness, that Mario um, um, 3D World Red Switch is coming out next month. And of the top of the top of the top 10 games on the uh, Famitsu um, Japanese software chart, the Switch is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's right. The Switch has the top 10 sales charts in Japan for all slots. Number one is a game I've never heard of, Motamaro Denitsu. But number two is Adam Crossing. Number three, Ring Fit Adventure. Number four, Mario Kart 8. Number five, um, Smash. Number six, Clubhouse Game 51. Number seven, Minecraft. Number eight, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Number nine, Splatoon 2. And number 10, Super Mario Party. Nintendo owns Japan. And not just Japan, but it's been dominating in every single region, bro. And they're gonna add Pokemon to the mix? Oh my goodness. The sales this holiday is gonna, are gonna be out the stratosphere. If a Switch Pro comes out. Oh man. All right. I mean, Switch is just killing it, bro. All right, next news item, an all new trailer for Bravely Default 2 has um, appeared on Square Enix um, a YouTube channel. I think this is their Japanese channel. Self, Z Phil YouTube just subscribed to my gaming channel. Um, Square Enix, Square Enix um, um, Japanese YouTube channel has a new trailer for Bravely Default 2. This is gonna be a day one buy. The game launches February 26th. And there is a demo available on the eShop, which I haven't even touched yet, bro. I almost want to just go into the game fresh, but I think your progress when the demo trans transfers over to the game, so I might. I, I don't know. There's so many games I'm still playing in my backlog. All right, bro. Breaking, breaking news. Super Nintendo World Japan's opening, the grand opening has been delayed indefinitely meaning that they don't have a launch date i mean an opening date for the park yet um, they're saying due to covid this is the official statement after careful consideration of all aspects of the current situation universal studios japan is postponing the grand opening of its new super nintendo world until after the state of emer of emergency for osaka prefecture issued yesterday is lifted Universal Studios said in a statement and so new restrictions have gone down in Japan because of the re-emergence of COVID-19 there's a, a faster strain that spreads faster so it's affecting the opening of Nintendo World you already know when that thing comes to Orlando psh, huh, why y'all watching this video I might be at Disney World right now big facts we're at Disney on Friday we don't know. We'll see. But, um, tough, tough, tough that this, um, it has been delayed. All right, bro, I have to remind y'all before I end this video, there is a big, I mean, a fantastic sale on the eShop right now. I mean, the game right here, Castlevania. Um, shout out to Emily Rogers. I saw her tweet. I retweeted it. Castlevania. Um, collection the Konami collection is five dollars right now, bro. It's usually 20 bucks, and so there are tons of games on the eShop right now on sale. I'm racking up now, bro. Um, any game that I haven't gotten, now's the time to see any missed Switch games. Go get it right now. 
All right, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Peace. That's my kids knocking. I'll let them in next time for the next closing of the video. All right, we out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later